Hi everyone. Um, I want to show you um, the items that I made for a swap. It's a secret sister swap on the UK and Ireland craft swaps on Facebook. We had to make um, three handmade items. Um, either alter a box or make a mini album and make a handmade card. So this is what I made. Um, the first item are these pegs. I've used the Romance Prima Romance novel paper as the theme to my um, the items that I made. Um, so what I did with these pegs was um, I coloured them first with um, Distress Ink and then I used the Prima paper over the top. And then I went around the edges then with Distress Ink. I made a little hole in the pegs, each peg, and hung a charm on the side of the pegs. And then I put some pretty roses on top of the pegs and glittered them. And I'll take one off to show you. So, hang on. Let's see if I can do this. So there's little charms hanging on the side of the pegs like that. Nice little set. You can use them on your projects. So it's that one. And then the final one is the same as the first one. Which is that one. Um, the person I'm saying did it sending them to is Tina. She's Ivory Moon on YouTube. Um, but I won't upload the video obviously until she's uh, opened her parcel. Basically because it's supposed to be a secret. So she doesn't know that um, I'd be sending her anything. So I put them back on the card that I made. So they look pretty. So I knew there's the pegs. So that's the first item that I made. The second item is this one. Um, bottle caps. Uh, I got the images from Etsy. Um, again I used the romance novel paper on the background. Um, I bought these little flowers from Wild Dog at Crafts. And I coloured them up with the vintage photo ink pad. And then I put little pearls in the centre. And then I did some charms hanging from the bottom. So they turned out looking pretty nice. So there's that one. Next item I made is a book. I altered a book. Um, see if I can move it back a bit. It's a bit too close to the camera using the romance novel paper, covered the front of the book, went around it with um, the vintage photo ink pad. Um, then I put some tea dye some lace and put it on the side and a black bling strip here. And then it's a pretty charm which is a separate item which is a book mark on the side there. And then inside, take that out a second, I put a pocket on the inside page here, and there's some tags here. These are from the paper pad it says, the A4 Romance Novel paper pad. And then this one, and I stamp the back of this one then with every possibility begins with the, with the courage to imagine. So there's that one and I went round the edges then with the vintage photo ink pad. This page here I um, stamped a typewriter on the bottom here using the black stays on ink pad. So then it's just a notebook then and I, like that and I stamp the same there. Every possibility begins with the courage to imagine and then it's the notebook. And then on the back page then I did another pocket 
used uh, this out, this was out of the Prima pad as well as a little envelope and then um, I just uh, got a little ticket inside that I stamped the clock on the back of so that's a sweet little envelope and then got another tag here and I stamped Love Wish Dream on the bottom of that one and went round it with the vintage photo ink pad and then I just covered the back then so there's my book and then what I thought I'd do is I put the book charm like that and I send it inside the cover here like that Was dangling from the side. Oh, that looks pretty. Like that. So is that item I made? And the bookmark is just an extra little handmade item. And I used some pretty beads on that as well, and a little charm at the bottom, a little key charm at the bottom. So there's that one. Um, the next thing is the card. I made it just a box using craft cards with the romance novel paper on the front there. And this is the card inside here. Um, I used the Prima romance novel paper in the background. Then I coloured a doily, paper doily. I got a pretty vintage image here from Etsy. And then a spray of flowers here using the ivy leaves on pink and cream roses from Wild Orca Crafts and then a little ivy leaf at the bottom there with a little pink rose there and then I've yet to write a sentiment inside there so there's the card so I hope you like these Tina back in the box like that to keep it clean and then the final item is an altered box this is my altered box um, a wooden box, again using uh, the Prima Romance Novel paper. I covered the whole box, I painted the box first with gesso and then I covered the whole box then with the Romance Prima Romance Novel paper and gave it a whitewash over the top. Then on the top here, some pretty wild orchid craft flowers here, again in the pink cream and using white drips of filia spray in between it with some ivy leaves and then some pearl swirls then on the top there and then on the front then I used the button as the closure and then inside the box inside the lid I've done another little spray here with the pink and cream roses and ivy leaves I put a pearl strip here and then just some little tickets here from also from the paper pads and then I can get that one up, that one and then that's the bottom of the box so there's my box anyway so I hope you like this Tina, <clears throat> it was a good fun swap um, and I really enjoyed making everything. So thank you everyone for watching, please leave a comment 